Hey everyone, my name is Tyler, and I have painted you all a painting from the story of David and Bathsheba. Uh, so I've painted some landscapes before. This is my first time painting a person, and as it turns out, painting people is uh, it's difficult, um, as you can see. So what's the context for this painting? Well, this is during the Bathsheba affair. Uh, David first sees Bathsheba taking a bath on her roof. Uh, he says, I want some of that. Has people send for her. Mm -hmm. They have an affair. He gets her pregnant. Uh, and he eventually uh, has her husband Uriah killed. Uh, David is completely blinded by his sin at this point. Uh, so then the prophet Nathan comes in. He tells David a parable which invokes David's sense of justice and David finally realizes how much he screwed up in the eyes of God. Um, Nathan tells David uh, that God has condemned his new baby that he's had with Bathsheba to die. Um, so David starts grieving. He grieves for seven days. He fasts. He prays. Also I know he looks like Santa here. Um, but David is greatly upset. He's bargaining with God. Uh, but eventually the child does die. Um, so why did I paint this? Well, this scene sort of resonated with me um, because of what happens after the child dies. Um, David uh, stops grieving. He bathes. Uh, he goes to eat. And his servants are like, David, man, what's happening? Why aren't you grieving now, now that the kid has died? And David basically tells his servants that he's accepted God's punishment and power over him. Um, and I've really sympathized with that. You know, if you've ever lost a loved one or, you know, you've had a loved one that was sick at least, you kind of know what it's like to bargain and pray with God. Um, so, yeah, I really sympathized with that. Um... And David does, uh, doesn't receive any further punishment from God. He eventually uh, has Solomon with Bathsheba. Solomon goes on to inherit David's kingdom. So, I hope you all enjoyed my painting. Look at that arm hair. Quality arm hair, right? Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching.